MindMeister can be a useful way to organize information and links and I'm going to show you some of the features. At this point I've created a large map already and I'm clicking in an open area and dragging it around to give you a perspective of the breadth of the data that I've collected so far. You may have noticed that this little window moves over on the side to also indicate what perspective I'm looking at. Let's start by adding to this mind map and you would click on the node that you want to add to. I'm clicking the central node and you'll see it's highlighted now and I go up to add at the top of the screen and it starts a new node. I'm going to type in the next category that I want to add and then I can click away. I could easily continue adding more nodes to any one of these branches that I've created. A useful thing you can do with a node though is once you've got it collect selected you can click over into the URL area to the right. You could move to another browser window and locate an article or information that you're interested in then you would click on the URL in the address of that other website. Then you would return to MindMeister, click into the URL text area, right click and then choose the option paste which is just below the screen here. When you click away you'll notice a little arrow comes to show you that you have an external link and when I hover over it you saw that it opened up a facsimile of the link and I could open it again just by clicking this. Another useful feature while you have a node selected is to hover over and click on the right the notes option which opens a window. You would type the text that you want and now when you hover over that option you'll get a facsimile of the note that you had created earlier. You have other options for annotation. One of them, for example, is using icons or images. I'm going to click the icon arrow and look at some of the options here. And I will put in a unhappy face because we're talking about a disease. You could develop your own system where you use different icons to give you visual clues of what's at that link, uh, particularly if you're embedding other resources. An important feature though is being able to quickly rearrange things. So I'm going to click and drag this option up here and now I'm going to move this one down. And notice how everything is moved along with it. I can also look at interactively closing down some of the detail which allows me to look at the larger perspective that's embedded here and when I click a plus sign these areas open up again. Using MindMeister allows you to look at very complex topics quickly and save materials that are associated with these topics so that you can get to them later.